Just getting right in for another day. Another day in Hollywood, I guess. Uh, I got to go up and uh, dig out some uh, water bars that got filled up this this spring with uh, sand and sediment. It's starting to uh, erode one of my clients' driveways away. It's not very bad right now, so instead of getting the rocks that he wanted, I told him we could just uh, put in a little bit of uh, the, the sand and stuff that I dig out. So we're gonna go up and do that. And this is what the uh, truck looks like when you're in between seasons up here in Vermont. I was gonna take my sander out today, but now we've got calls for you know, some rain and it might freeze. We got some snow coming and it was just 60 degrees here the other day. See a really weird winter here. I've seen a motorcycle at least one every single month on the road this winter, so it's pretty strange. I even, uh, because I've got to do so much raking and cleanups for all my clients that I start here early. And you can see where I raked across to the trail about a straight line from here back. It's already filling in with leaves and stuff, but I got my wheelbarrow up there and my the world's best shovel. Fiskers, it's a little skinny thing so you can get in them ditches really easy. Threw out my shovels and this is about as far, I got a couple little spots here to pick up and I got right about there, I got here, I got all up back and I got to get this out of the way before I start uh, raking and cleaning up all the other places or else so this just won't get done. You can see I got quite a bit of, I got a good start on a small piece of lawn so we'll get that done by and by in between the other places. Uh, I've been around to all the apartments. I got four buildings, 18 units I take care of. Uh, I just had to put a get a new blind at the store and put that up. Somebody pulled it down and busted it. It's like same apartment, same ladies, really aggressive with them stupid blinds. But anyways, they're all set. So unless I get a call, that's the only thing I, sometimes I'm done for the day and I'm out doing my own thing and they'll give me a call and I've been you know, over an hour away and had to come back and then go back and try to do what I'm, what I'm working on. But like I said, it's another day in Hollywood, you guys. And you're welcome, come aboard. I'll show you how the best way to uh, avoid getting your wash, your uh, driveway washed out. It's about uh, uh, eight miles to Danville from here. I'm right on the uh, St. Johnsbury Waterford line. The, the line goes right between right in half of the house here diagonally so when I get it when I'm going to sleep I sleep in Waterford but if I got to use the bathroom I got to walk all the way to St. Jay to use that bathroom at night so kind of has its disadvantages <laughs> all right guys I'll meet you up there so here we are up in Danville it's a little bit more windy up here not too bad it started to rain on the way up uh -huh. It was 39 when I left St. J. Waterford and uh, it's 34 up here, so that's why I left my sander in. And this driveway, I put the stay mat in here, me and my son, about five years ago for this guy. And we don't really do that anymore because I I had a couple dump trucks and I've recently, I've sold those and uh, We've got so much other work to do that, you know, you gotta draw the line somewhere unless you're gonna hire a bunch of help. And so right now I'm gonna just take care of, so you can see it's not too bad. It's just a little bit, just starting to work on it. And the water bars are like, bam, boom, bam, 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 bam. I got about six, I believe, up through there. So I'm gonna take that shovel and uh, shovel that out. And uh, I'm, I got this wheelbarrow. I'm gonna, uh, take these things off here get it off the side and go up and I'm gonna start digging those out and I'll show you guys when I get it all set and uh, I'll get back to you in just a second hey guys I don't know if you can hear it it's hailing now up here my hands are about freezing cold the uh, ground is still a little bit frozen so I got a start on it 
I got the end of his driveway here filled in. I got a little diversion spot here and I got, this is all you need to do guys. Is I got about six more up through here at least. Little water dams or water bars. And all you gotta do is just dig it out so it'll come down here and to the side of his driveway and empty out on the side of his driveway instead of you know making it into the top of the driveway and starting that to wash all out so if you guys are having a, you know trouble with your driveway washing out you can see it's it's all uphill from here it's not real steep but it's steep enough so that it'll take a driveway and wash that out if that's a low spot for it to go into so uh, it's all you gotta do guys is just dig out you know pick at least four or a half a dozen places because sometimes the water will really be coming down hard to rain and this is a crazy spot up here it's always windy always really big snow drifts up here and it's always cold as heck but uh just dig these out guys and they'll save your driveway uh thanks for watching i hope that's some help to you